back to the Crochet Crowd of Thoughts by friends at yarnspirations.com. We have four videos in one today. There are four videos that are exactly this video, and it is either the granite stitch, the moss stitch, the linen stitch, or the woven stitch. This is done as an even count chain, so it's a completely multiple of two. If you decide to do a multiple of two, then what happens is, is that there's two rows that are part of the repeating pattern. The other video that we have is the same stitch but in multiples of two plus one. And that one is technically easier. The difference between this one and the other one though, is that this one will have an even side edge of everything being matched on the side where the other one does not. And it depends on your application. So for clothing, you may prefer this stitch over the other one. So let's begin and start to show you how. So let's do this stitch. The multiple is only two. So just go one, two, one, two, and one, two, and one, two, one, two, and one, two. You could just do an even number as well. Once you're happy with this, then what you can do is just lay it against something, maybe you wanna match a size, and then you can start. So just as an even number and multiples of two. Let's begin row number one. To do row number one, you are going to go second chain from the hook, and you're going to single crochet, and I always choose the back hump of the chain because I think it looks nicer. You're then going to chain one, skip one and single crochet into the next chain and you're creating a chain one space that you'll be using in the next row chain one skip one single into the next and you're going to do this all the way down your chain so chain one skip one so please do this all the way down your chain and then i'll meet you at the end of the chain and for those that are ready for the ending of the chain is that you'll skip one and the very last one is going to be a single crochet so this is getting ourselves set up. And now the next two rows are going to be the repeat for the whole thing. So let's turn our work and do that. Let's begin row number two. So you notice that you have a single crochet in here and then you have a space. So you're going to chain one and you are going to put in a single crochet in the top of the first single. So that's gonna always keep your edge looking solid. This space here is the next stitch. I need you to also put in a single crochet there. And now you're gonna begin the jumping process. So chain one, skip the next single, and just use your fingers and ply it open, and you'll get the next chain one space. So you're only gonna play with the chain one spaces by, and then just um, using those, but make sure you chain one before you go into any of those spaces to provide another space that you'll use coming up. So chain one, skip one, go into the space. And in this row, it's slightly different on the edge. So just put me on pause. And then for those that are continually ready, then once you have this one chain one, you're gonna go into the space before the last one. Single crochet, and then single crochet right directly into the next one. So you will notice in the, this rule, whenever you have it, the first two are directly beside each other of the single crochet, then you start jumping. And that changes because in the next row, it's different. So you turn your work and let's begin the next row. To do the next row, you're going to chain one and you'll single into the first. So you have to make a decision. You'll notice that, is that there's another single crochet before the jumping up into the hole. So you're going to chain one, jump over that single crochet that's there and go right directly into the chain one space hole. And then this is when you start jumping again. So chain one and go into your next space and do that all the way across. So on this row, we're pretty much jumping all the way right from the beginning where the other row we always have a stagger okay so chain one skip the second last single crochet and then just single into the last and so this is a two row repeat so to start the next one when you start you're going to chain one you'll single into the first you have to single into the chain one space and then you start jumping so chain one and then start jumping into the spaces. So as long as you can identify how you're starting each of the rows, it becomes quite easy to do. This is used in a lot of clothing, um, for example. And the only time you really can't use this, let me just finish the last one here, single into the last. The only time you really can't use this stitch is when it's in a sampler. This stitch tends to have a different compression. And so therefore, even though it looks like it's evenly spaced, another stitch 
may not be as equally spaced as that. And I always find when I use this in a stitch sampler, it always causes the sampler to buckle. So that's just something that you have to consider. So you just keep doing the multi, uh, this uh, two row repeat until the cows come home. Hopefully you enjoy, and I'll see you soon.